It was something... something about me being brave. No, wait, that's all my stories. Wait, yes, that's it. By Jove, I remember now. The story about the thieves. Now, okay. And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, that's right. This story gets better every time you tell it, I think. And just then, as I raised the sword, light glinting bright off my steel... Sir, more reports just in! Wait, no, wait, not at this bit again! You always ruin it for me. It's the girl again, sir. She's been spoiled just now. She was seen making her way to the alley behind the church, sir. By the stars. She must have walked right past the tavern. The nerve. Ah, uh, also, sir, it is said she arrived in the town with a different ally, sir. Uh, I... I should probably, uh... bid you farewell now. A strange mustachioed gentleman was the witness's description, sir. The devil? An ally, you say? Oh, dear. And even though he didn't like having his beard trapped, he was forced to sit still for just a second to hear me out. I didn't take you for the violent type. But, no, that's... Oh, you don't think that's violent, do you? Hush, hush, I'm teasing for goodness sake. That's it. We have all the items, finally. All right. And we can make the cure now, right? Indeed, yes. Ha ha ha. A cure indeed. Let's begin. For what was forged, suppress the malign. For what I reflect, return what is mine. Fool. I... I'm sorry? Now, to finish what I started, child. No, no, it can't be. <gasps> M Madame? Oh, your highness. Huh. Since you incompetent monkeys are incapable of doing your own job, I've followed the wanted criminal and apprehended her myself. Now, seize her at once. Yes, yes your highness, highness, at once. At once. Highness? Throw her into the dungeons. Despite all of Anna's brave efforts, the witch's trickery prevailed. All was for Winfrieda's gain, and now somehow under the witch's command, the guards tore the newly forged friendship apart. Plead as she might, the girl was taken away and locked in the depths of the darkest of dungeons. In this most dire of hour, Anna could not help but lament, for her hopes for a cure had been all but dashed. Oh, you're back from the village. Anna, where were you? Grandpa. We've been through this before. You know how I feel about you being out at night. But I'm fine. You don't have to worry so much. I do. I really do. Oh, if only you knew what lurks outside the farm, what evils there are in the world, what they've done to... <clears throat> Grandpa? I'm all right. I'm all right. Are... Are you okay? What happened? Please, just... <clears throat> if you could, I could find some medicine from the cabinet. Oh no, it's locked! The key. It's... Uh, the fireplace. Where is it? Oh, I don't see it. Ah, here. <coughs> ah, I can't quite 
reach. Ah, got it. Here, quickly. <coughs> Anna, you have to listen to me. I, I know you feel like you have to find help, but whatever happens, you must always be careful. Well, what do you mean? Always be wary, Anna, of everyone, of everything. The world is tough, but you... You must be even tougher. Grandpa. Don't ever forget what I've told you. Remember, however near or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. <laughs>